I'm Dr. Helen Marlay, and I'm delighted that you are watching these videos that demonstrate and explain the technique series Play Your Scales and Chords Every Day. This is book one. Basic technique is the foundation for all good piano playing and musicianship. Students who play without knowing their key signatures or basic scales and chords can only go so far, and then they hit a dead end in their progress. Technique must go hand in hand with reading, rhythm, and repertoire skills. It's a good idea to work on major and minor five finger patterns and triads first. This is what is taught in book one. Book two, red cover, covers major one octave scale. Book three covers minor one octave scale. Book four covers one octave harmonic and melodic minor scale. And then we continue on to two, three, and four octave scales in future books. The information that you see and use in this series are the building blocks of all good musicians. As soon as it is possible, begin these books and continue with them. Book one takes us through major and minor five finger patterns and triads, as I said before. Page four shows you how a major five finger pattern is constructed. Page five shows how the five finger patterns can be learned in groups. Major five finger patterns. Five finger patterns are really easy to remember. We start with the first note, which is called tonic. We go up a whole step, a whole step, half step, and then a whole step. Group one is all white keys, C major. <laughs> G major. Group two has one black key in the middle, D major, and A major. Group three are patterns that look and feel different. E major, F major, B major. This entire book helps our students to understand all of these five finger patterns. There are three groups of five finger patterns. Group one are five finger patterns that are made up of all white keys. Group two are five finger patterns that have a black key in the middle. And group three are patterns that look and feel differently. On the next page, there are triads. The triads are built on the first, third, and fifth notes of the five finger pattern. So, for example, C major, as you all know, C, D, E, F, G, and then this triad is based on the first, third, and fifth note of that five-finger pattern, C, E, G. These pages might be a lot for someone to handle all at once, so we can go back to the very first part of this book later and fill out the answers. Here the students learn not only their five-finger patterns, but also a broken triad, a block triad, and a hand over hand arpeggio. But let's continue to see how this entire book is organized. From page 7 to 18 are all the white key major five finger patterns, triads, and hand over hand arpeggios. Starting on page 14 are the black key major five finger patterns, triads, and hand over hand arpeggios. So, as I said, starting with page 14, students now learn the black key major five finger patterns and triads. So B flat major, tonic, bo, bo, half, bo, means that the two black keys are going to be B flat and E flat, as you know. So it's imperative that the student play 
steadily and also plays with strong fingers and flexible wrists. From page 19 to 33 are all of the minor five finger patterns, triads, and hand over hand arpeggio. On page 19, students learn the minor five finger patterns. And for all of the pages that continue, now the students are playing in minor. Oh my goodness. On page 34, the real fun of this book begins. It is here that students can review the technique they have learned. And then there are variations on the same technique so they really understand and know these basics. I will take you through these pages of pages 34 through page 39. The last three pages of the book are quizzes for the practicer. Timing how long it takes to go through the list of technique is an ideal way to have the piano student think quickly and then play. Shower students with praise after each one is completed in good time. So for example, complete the, the game to confirm your skill. Move from one exercise to another. Accuracy is your goal. Play evenly with a big, beautiful tone. And then they add eight scales, I should say five finger patterns, or triads to play. On page 43 is an excellent diagram of the circle of fifths. I'll show you how this works when we get to book two.